You can interface with the Broadband Illinois channel, with the Network Woodlawn channel, with the University of Chicago Gigabit channel, and or uh, each school could have their own individual channels relative to the charter school, relative to Chicago Public Schools, relative to uh, Mount Carmel. So, you know, all, all, all stakeholders in that area, including uh, the churches, uh, archdiocese and or apostolic, what have you. Just, you know, an idea of, of apostolic being very focused in the, in the spiritual community, keeping their content very focused on their channel, correct? With no one, and, and if they want to share that with the Woodlawn community or what have you, then that's who, they, or if they want to share it with Joel Osteen's community, right. you know, they can go one, one to many. Are, so are you uh, providing uh, hosted infrastructure? Is this a solution as a platform strategy and you're providing the complete uh, hosted environment to make this platform available and scalable to yeah, whoever's trying to use it? Absolutely. This is a full, what they call SaaS software as a service. So there's no equipment that you would need. We host and provide all the data, all the security in the global region. Be because um, the challenge with those models is that the public obviously is aware of social. Right. Uh, they use it every day. Uh, you know, half a billion people are using Facebook on a mobile device today, and they're used to that. Uh, they're used to other kinds of uh, community types of experiences. What they're not used to is paying for that robust, secure, uh, shapeable infrastructure as consumers. Right. So when you start talking about you know, enterprise scale and functionality, personalization, uh, multi-tier type of activity. Again, what GE is used to, what Boeing is used to, what Accenture is used to, that's very different than what consumers and the public are interested in. Sure. And so, whereas you may have um, uh, Yammer and the kind of social tools that have now gone into the enterprise, and the enterprise wants what the enterprise wants, public is still out here experiencing things on freemium types of engagements. And as we know, had Google not come in and had pockets to support, YouTube was on the way of becoming an explosion because they could not afford the infrastructure, the bandwidth that they were making available. So somebody at a much larger level had to come in and try to figure out how to you know, monetize or strategize to make that platform that's gobbling up all of the content that others want to come along and say, I can suck it in and do this, but the bottom line is you're not hosting all of those videos and having the responsibility that's streaming off your service. So the question becomes, um, have you de developed a range of scalable, sustainable business models that allow you to take this to somebody other than the enterprise? Because when you're selling it in the enterprise, what you're saying is, I know you want to fly everywhere, I know you want to meet everywhere, I know you want to have conferences on all continents, but let's be real, you can't afford that. It's got to be a blend of you have the dollars and the savings off the airline. Exactly, exactly. So you're not selling this right. against television production or hosting. Right. You're, you're selling this against right. a more, uh, a, a, you know, business model that, biz, you know, enterprise can understand. Let, when let you come to the community, uh, th this poses some some challenges. Right. So I, I would. Uh, it's kind of interesting, Bruce. First of all, um, you couldn't be more accurate, okay? But I would just tell you, in today's world, even those corporations with those blue chip names, they're not interested in paying either, okay? <laughs> so it's kind of been, it's kind of been a, a real challenge, okay, to the way that we used to kind of build an event and charge for an event, and then everybody would look at an event and say, was the value there? Okay, mm -hmm. was the ROI there? And, a corporation spend versus down to an association or even now talking about community, where does the money come from, right? Because as you know, I have real costs, right? right. So what's interesting is um, we're not freemium, okay, but we've become very disruptive in our pricing to the industry, which is as of, you know, recent, and I'm talking about two weeks ago. <laughs> So what we've done is we're in this television methodology, we basically pay by channel. So I'll give you an example. Um, you can stuff a channel, there's no limit to the amount of content, okay? So we charge today $4,000 for a channel, up to 3,000 uh, unique individuals that can watch as much on-demand or live programming they possibly can. So as an example, 
Um, if you're looking at um, having all of your community conversations, and you see the left there where it says health conditions, mm -hmm. that could be a single channel. You can put anything in that channel for $48,000 a year. That used to be probably a half a million to a million to a million and a half dollars in the old pricing model, which still exists for all my competitors. Right. Okay? So what we're banking on okay, is having the best communication enterprise platform that becomes now affordable, whether you're a community, an association, and we're even thinking about some limited versions where we might even get that down to $2,000 a month, $27,000 So compared to a, a live stream or a Ustream right. or a, a Bright Cove or all sure. of these kinds of guys that are in that enterprise video space, you have come and saying, I think we're as good or better. Well, and there's no question that they're about 2% of what we do, in, in all honesty. Okay, right. and, and the, and the reason that the live streams and the use streams don't work for a community is it's really just a push out right. um, video. And unfortunately, you see the things spin all the time. Right. Okay, So you don't get a good experience. If I'm right. sitting here and I'm watching YouTube, I right. can't watch YouTube. So